everyone today we will see one of the important problems in taxation that is how to calculate the annual tax liability so in this problem mrs sanaya and government employee received a sum of rupees 16 lakh 50 thousand as annual salary for the previous year now we need to calculate the annual tax liability for the year 2021 to 22 so as per the problem the assessment year would be 2021 to 22 and the previous year is the financial year so the previous year is 2020 to 21 so now we will see how to calculate the annual tax liability since the financial year is 2020 to 21 we have option to choose either new tax regime and old tax regime so in new tax regime we have to forego certain exemptions and deductions but in the old regime we can while that is we can utilize this exemptions to calculate the income tax so now we will see in the session both the old and new tax regime calculation this is the income tax lab rate applicable for the old tax regime for the individual who are below 60 years for them income tax lab up to rupees 2.5 lakh is nil above rupees 2.5 to 5 lakh is 5 percent and 5 lakh to 10 lakh is 20 percent and above 10 lakh is 30 percent similarly for individual between 60 to 80 years who are called senior citizens for them up to rupees 3 lakh it is nil and above 3 lakh to 5 lakh it is 5 percent and 5 lakh to 10 lakh it is 20 percent and above 10 lakh it is 30 percent so for above 10 years that is for super senior citizens up to 5 lakh it is nil and for above 5 lakh to 10 lakh it is 20 percent and for above 10 lakhs it is 30 percent in the given problem ananya's income is 16.5 lakhs we'll assume ananya's below 16 years sorry 60 years so as we have seen in the previous table this is the income tax lab rate for below 60 years so since ananya's income is 16.5 lakhs that is above rupees 10 lakhs thus 30 percent of tax rate is applicable so if we calculate here so above 10 lakh is 30 percent so 16 lakh 50 thousand into 30 by 100 is 4 lakh 95 thousand so do ananya have to pay 4 lakh 95 thousand as tax for 16.5 lakhs no so this calculation is wrong so then how it is calculated we will see this is the structure of the table wherein we are going to calculate the tax for old tax lab under section 4 of IT Act. So here the particulars will be income from salary. In the given problem they had given us 16 lakh 50 thousand that we are going to note down. So below calculation we will see how we are going to calculate. The first step is we are going to fit the 16.5 lakhs in the existing slab rate. So in each slab, see for example, up to rupees 2.5 lakhs, the maximum amount which can be fit inside this particular slab is 2.5. So similarly, 2.5 to 5 lakh, the difference is again 2.5. So between 5 lakh to 10 lakh, the maximum amount we can fit is 5 lakhs. So here, the next is the balance. That is, if it is going beyond 10 lakhs, the balance we can put in over here so now we will see 16.5 lakhs we need to fit <clears throat> in the existing slab so the first 2.5 lakhs it will go remain 2.5 lakhs then 5 lakhs so totally 10 lakhs now 16.5 lakhs minus 10 lakhs is 6.5 lakhs that we will put in the last slab so totally it is 16.5 lakhs we are fitting in the existing slab rate. So after fitting the 16.5 lakhs in the slab rate, we will take the tax rate. So last two columns are required to calculate the tax. Now we will see how it is. We will take the last two columns. <clears throat> Since till 2.5 lakhs it is nil. So the rupees is zero so 2.5 lakhs the tax rate is five percent so 2.5 lakh at five percent is two lakh fifty thousand into five by hundred is twelve thousand five hundred similarly for five lakh at twenty percent is one lakh 
Similarly, for 6.5 lakh, at 30 percent is 1 lakh 95 thousand. So after totaling up all the four things, uh, the total amount is 3 lakh 7 thousand 500. So now we will fill this table as we have seen previously. So income from salaries, we will take the from the problem that is 16 lakh 50 thousand and for each slab we have already calculated in the previous step so 12,500 1 lakh and 1 lakh 95 thousand so totally it is 3 lakh 7 thousand 500 finally we need to calculate the health and education as I said 4 percent from the total so the total is 3 lakh 7 thousand 500 which is 4 percent is 12,300 so we will put the health and educational says and calculating that that is totaling both it will come as 3,19,800 so Ananya has to pay 3,19,800 as tax for 16,50,000 this is the correct calculation so this is the new regime income tax lab rates for individuals and if you look at the old regime there is a different tax lab rates for different age groups but in new regime there is no difference it is common for all the age group and also if you look at the tax labs till 15 lakhs there is a difference of 2.5 lakhs in each slab and also if you look at the tax rate it will it is increased by 5 percent in each slab so till 2.5 lakhs there is no tax and after that it is increasing by 5%. It is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and for about 15 lakhs it is 30. So now as we have done in the previous uh, old regime fitting the 16.5 lakhs similarly we will do that in new regime as well. So the maximum amount which can be fit in the each slab is 2.5 lakhs because that is a difference of 2.5 lakhs for each in each slab and after 15 lakhs we will fill the balance. Now, we will fill the 16.5 lakhs in each uh, slab so till 15 lakhs it is 2.5 lakhs so remaining is 16.5 minus 15 is 1.5 lakhs that we will fill it in the last slab that is above rupees 15 lakhs so the total will be 16.5 So this is the complete uh, uh, tablet column. Now we will need only the uh, two uh, columns that is um, tax rate and the 16.5 lakhs column. So now we will take this out and uh, we will calculate for each uh, first is till 2.5 lakhs there is no uh, amount because there is no tax rate till 2.5 lakhs first 2.5 lakhs the next 2.5 lakhs is 5 percent which is 12,500 similarly 10 for 10 percent it is 25,000 and for 15 percent it is 37,500 and for 20 percent it is 50,000 and for 2.5 lakhs 25 percent is 62 and for 1.5 lakhs it is 45,000 so, so now after summing up it comes around 2,32,500 so we will fill this tabular particulars it is similar to the old uh, regime tabular column the only difference is the uh, slab rate and it's a uh, calculation which we have done it previously so the previous uh, slide we have calculated all these things we will put all the figures over here so that is 2,32,500 so now after calculating the cess amount that is education health and this amount at 4% so here it is uh, 2,32,500 into 4 by 100 is 9,300 so it is 2,41,800 so Ananya has to pay 2,41,800 if she take advantages of section 115 BAC because that is what new tax lab regime 
comes in. So when compared to old tax, new tax regime gives a, a less a tax amount because we have not claimed any exemptions because in this problem there is no exemptions. If there wasn't any exceptions, um, the tax would have reduced. But uh, since there is no <coughs> exceptions, um, so new tax regime is benefited here because the tax amount is less than the old tax. So the total tax liability is 2,41,800 in the new regime. So with this, we have come to the end of the session. And if you have any doubts, please do ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.